Hello, people who wish I could come up with something clever to say, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. This is part 11. So, last time, Malari told us to head over to find a sanctuary within the castle. So, let's just head down there. He also told us about a shortcut down the mountain, which is found right here. There we are, though. So, let's head down here. Knock you in the water. Up here. And to the right. Kill this guy. And if we fire our cane of poxy into here, which we couldn't do before, we can hit this switch. Which will make the rest of that bridge appear. Oh wow, I'm really not saying anything today. Uh, anyway, let's just head up to the castle. Um, uh, head straight up to the top, go inside. Are you sure I look alright? I never know what to wear to formal occasions. It's not really formal, we're not going to see the king or anything. We're just heading up this left side and down the stairs. And over here into this door. And hmm, I wonder what that could be. Link, look, see how this that doorway glows? Could that be the door that leads to the sanctuary? Nobody in the castle seems able to see it, but you and me. How do you know that we're the only ones in here? Whatever. Yes, it is the sanctuary, as you can tell by the text that appears on the screen. <laughs> Dramatic music. So this is the elemental sanctuary then. This is where you can we you confuse your blade with the power of the elements. Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle there. It's a trap, don't do it! No, it's not. Just drop our sword on in there, and let's see what happens. Oh my god, it's glowing! And it changed colors! The power of, powers of the earth and fire elements have infused your blade. Ah oh, yes, yes, they have. random stone hmm hmm let's see if I can't read that tablet for you fill your sword with power and walk over the glowing tile hmm perhaps it refers to those flashing spots on the floor around you really I had no idea well what are you waiting for try it link okay let's try this out fill up the gauge and Oh my god, there's two! Whoa, you just split into two. Or in two. So this is the power of the white sword. I guess you can double yourself like that any time you see those panels. Okay, so um, it looks like that door is closed. But luckily, we can hit both of these switches at once. And kill off our doppelganger. Run him right into the wall, why don't we? Okay. So, now we have a powered up white sword. Let's head back into the town. Because I remember a uh, swift blade back in the town said that once we have a new blade we can go back to see him and we have this fancy white sword <laughs> oh hold on interesting you're the last person I expected to find here and just as I was wondering who could be behind this I find my old master ah body oh he said it 
And as always, you are dressed in <laughs> the shabbiest of rags. Who's a rag? My curses are not to be mocked. The one I cast on you is most powerful. No matter what power you wield, you will not ever break it. You never changed in the slightest. I should never have created that cap. It only fueled your insane desires. Fool, a hat that grants the wishes of its wearers is a spectacular creation. Thanks to you, I have gone from being a meek, minuscule nothing to the greatest sorcerer alive. You cannot stop me, and I have you to thank for it. Except this gesture of mine for, for gratitude. Wait, body, wait! Didn't see that coming. Ah, uh, so we have two moblins here. Pretty simple to kill. Yeah, that was it. Oh no, how evil. That foul body. What could he be scheming now? Link? I feel I owe you an explanation of what has happened. You see, Vadi and I are both Minish. What? I was once a famous sage and a renowned Minish craftsman. Vadi was only a boy when I took him on as my apprentice, but he became en enchanted by the wickedness in the hearts of men. One day, Vadi, he took a hat I made for the humans, my pride and joy. It granted the wishes of its wares, where he put it on without my, without permission. Body, what are you doing here? Oh, he was so cute before. Oh, what a vile form you've taken. Vile, I am a sorcerer now, and my power is beyond compare. None can stop me. Why, Vadi, what are you plotting? This year, on the day that comes but once a century, the portal opens. And when it does, I shall claim the light force as my own. I will be transformed, perfect, and there will be none who can stop me. Gah! Gah. It's a hat! <laughs> I don't know if I said the right number of paws. Tell me, how does it feel, my sorcerer's curse? There's nothing you can do to break it as low, or to stop me. And with that, I must be leaving. Ah, I see. That kind of sucks. You know the legends, of course. The gifts the, the Pickery gave the humans. What you call the Pickery Blade was the first of the, those gifts. The second, well, you call it Light Force, but it is a source of limitless magical power. If Vadi were to get it now, it would be devastating. I came to the world of men hoping to stop Vadi, and I met you in the woods. But it seems we won't be breaking that the curse on me any time soon. However, with the Sacred Blade, we can certainly restore Princess Zelda. I'm sorry. All that has happened has been due to my own pride, my folly. Yes, take all the blame. I must rely on you, on your power, until we've put an end to body. And get back on my head. We'll link in a fairy tales. We must search for the next element. And maybe we'll search for it later. Because as I was saying, I wanted to go back to Swiftblade. Yeah, so that was the tale of Ezlo and stuff. Yes, and Vadi. Pretty nice storyline, I guess. Hmm, a new sword. Fantastic. You seem to have acquired new skill with it. Yes, I am ready to train you again, young swordsman. So, will you accept this new training? Yes, why yes, I will. I will now teach you a technique called the Rock Breaker, so pay attention. First, swing your sword to break pots. Actually, that's all there is, is young swordsman. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. Yes, haha, good. If you had said you didn't understand, I would have have serious doubts about you. Yes, but one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. That is the secret of the switch blade, switch technique of training. Watch this. Gah. 
Switch a roo. And he goes over and breaks the pots for us. Because we can do it ourselves. Phew. Now you must try it yourself. Break the pots with your sword. That's all. Okay. That sounds good. Yes, fine work. Fantastic even. I will now give you this tiger scroll. Why, thank you. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. You learn secret rock br oh, skip that. Rock breaker technique, I guess. Shatter pots and pulverize boulders with a single blow now. That should come in handy, because I'm always trying to pick up these pots and throw them. So, um, now we're going to head up into this shop right here. And they've got a nice little wallet for us. Only 80 rupees for a wallet. It can hold a king's ransom in rupees. Okay, so will you buy it? Eh, why not? Buy. You bought, got a big wallet. Now you can carry more rupees. Much obliged, my good lad. Please do not hesitate to stop in again. Um, yeah, so apparently a king's ransom is 300 rupees. Poor king. So if we come back in here, there is the boomerang. The boomerang is a real bargain at 300 rupees. But we don't have that many. So, we'll just, oh, put that back. And get started on this mini game quest thing here. Oh, first she wants to fuse kinstones. Let's see if we have. Oh, we do have the right one. And the two kinstones fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. Hopefully. Ah, uh, yes, something very good. Um, we'll go check that out, I guess. They fit perfectly. I wonder what's going to happen. Um, we don't actually have that much time, so, um, she has a quest where you go around finding, grabbing cuckoos. So, um, I think I'll do that next time. And we can't actually get through the whole thing, but get through what I can. Go in this little hole that she opened up. And, ah, oh, that's just a fairy pattern. Never mind. I was expecting a heart piece because I saw the heart above her head. But, whatever. Um. Okay then. Uh. So, yeah, I guess we'll just go on and head over here. blow up these rocks. But I got a lot less done than I expected in this video because I forgot about the whole body thing right there. Uh, but whatever. Um, head down here. And now with the cane of poxy we can head up here. and into here. Hopefully I'll have this video up on time today. I was trying to do a whole post once a day thing, but then yesterday my editing software kept crashing, so I didn't get this video up until like 1.30 this morning. So, almost had like once a day, but this one will also be going up today, so whatever, not a big deal. We have another fairy fountain in here. Welcome to the Adventurer's Spring. I need many rupees right now. Please, throw all your rupees into the spring. Eh, sure, why not? Really? You know that if you do this, you will have absolutely no rupees left. Well, uh, will you really throw them all in? Yeah, sure. You are most kind. I do not really need your rupees. Oh. Okay, then. Not that we had many. We had like 20 sticks, I think. You got a big wallet. Now you can carry more rupees. Huh. Thanks. May you fare well on your quest. Sweet, so now, I think, I'm not sure how much this holds actually, but we got an even bigger wallet, so, um, okay, yeah, w I think I went over time, so I might have to do some fast forwarding, uh, whatever, uh, yeah, see ya.